Today I'm going to talk about one of the things that make you get sick. Share it, like it, and subscribe to my channel. God bless you, everybody. Today I wanted to talk about things that get you sick because somebody wrote to me saying, I've been sick constantly lately, and I have so many problems with all this happening because of the coronavirus. And I, am, I wanted to talk to this person today about this because it's very important to keep ourselves healthy in this time because if we got like stress out and different things it's easier to get contagious and very sick by the coronavirus actually one of the things that get you very sick get anybody sick is the fact that we are always stressed with so many problems so many things you have to learn to calm down. You have to learn to be like, uh, I mean, it's not to be irresponsible. No, I'm not talking about like ignore what is going on. It's not to ignore, it's not to be irresponsible that you have problems, you have bills to pay, and the, the money is like a little tight right now, right? Because a lot of things happening, there's no work. There's a lot of things happening that can get you stressed, right? But uh, we have to learn something very important, and is that we, after we became Christians, we have to know that the Lord gives us a lot, a lot of different verses in the Bible that tells us how to live so we can be like less stressed out or, or not stressed at all. I invite you to read verses in the Bible that can help you a lot if you learn. To, to read and not only read because most of the people read but they don't they don't use it they don't use what they read they don't leave the word of God and we have to leave the word of God we have to use it so it can work in us that's the only way that we can survive as Christians and be healthy and everything that, that comes, it doesn't matter. I'm going to take it easy because I'm waiting on God. But we have to use the word of God, not only read it. That's the problem of the majority of the Christians. The majority of the Christians, I find out that they read and read and go to church all the time. Most of the Christians, a lot of Christians go every day to church. They all have different programs in church. But what do they learn? What do they learn? Because when they have problems, they get crazy. And it's always a problem, so they're always crazy. It's always something. If you notice, today you have a big problem, you're getting crazy, you don't know what to do, you're anxious, you can sleep well, you've been having everything, just name it, and then the Lord comes, boom, and fits it. And you, wow, nice. Oh, I was just needing that to have peace in my life. But what happened? Next day, something else comes up because there's always something while we are alive, while we are in this body, we're going to always have problems. So we have to learn to deal with everything without getting anxious, without stop sleeping, without so many stress. That's the only way that we can survive and, and, and like be healthy because you get sick when you don't sleep you get very sick when you are so uh, like warm up with everything like everything on top of your head oh my god what am i gonna do now i have to pay this and that and i don't have it what am i gonna do what am i gonna do what are you gonna do change your mind change your mind start trusting the lord and start using the word of god that you've been learning and start learning that the Lord is there for you, that he said, I'm never gonna leave you, I'm never gonna forsake you. And then if you trust him, if you say, okay, Lord, you know how I feel, I really need to fix this problem now, but I'm not gonna get crazy, I'm gonna just wait on you. I'm gonna just wait on you and ask him, help me, Lord, help me. I'm here in front of you asking you for help because you are the only one who can help me at this moment that everything looks so dark for me. 
And trust me, the Lord is going to do it. And anyway, you have two options. You either believe in the Lord, take it easy, and everything is going to be okay, or get crazy about it, and nothing is going to be fits because only the Lord can do it on his right time. And if you get crazy, you're not doing anything, only what? Be anxious and get sick. That's all you're gonna obtain. I feel so sorry to see that so many Christians are so unhappy. We are not to be unhappy. We're supposed to be happy. We're supposed to be at peace. We're supposed to take it easy because we, if we surrender everything under the Lord, everything is supposed to be okay. We just have to wait for the right moment and the right time and the Lord is going to do it. And for more that you stress yourself, you're not going to do anything like I said before. So just learn to keep your mind nice and fresh waiting for the Lord to fix the problems. Something important that we have to do is renew our mind. Renew our mind, not keep the mind like the world has the mind that everybody is crazy about anything and who cares because nobody's gonna help me. But no, we have to renew our mind in the Lord. We have to ask the Lord to help us renewing the mind so we can wait on Him. If we remember Romans, Chapter 12, verse 2, says something very particular about that, that we shouldn't read, and not only read, but keep it here. Let's read it right now, please. Let's not be conformed to this world, but let that change the way you think. Then you will know how to do everything that is good and pleasant to Him. Chapter 12, verse 2 tells us not to be conformed to this world the way that they are. No, we have an option. Let's pray God to renew our mind. Let's have a transformation in the mind. If we learn to have a transformation, we will learn to let God do. And then God will take care of everything. And everything will be better for you. You're not going to be stressed out for anything. And God is going to do your thing. And everything is going to be fine. Let's remember that Jesus said that he was going to give, give us his peace. He said, my peace I give, I give you. Not like the world give it to you. So don't be anxious. Don't be getting crazy about anything because he's there with us and his peace is in us, it's inside us. So stop asking the Lord to give you peace in your life. And stop asking the Lord, oh Lord, I can't take it no more. Give me peace, I need peace. No, don't ask for, for peace. Ask the Lord to help you use the peace that he gave you. Because in order for you to be at peace, you have to work with your peace inside of you that he gave you. He gave it to you already when he came. He gave it to you when he died on the cross for you and for me. He already gave us. We are in inheritance and everything that the Lord said that he was going to give us. So we already have it in us. We just have to get it out, follow it, like the word of God said. So listen, don't ask the Lord for peace. Don't ask him, help me to be a peace in my life, help me to find peace. No, ask him, help me to get the peace that I have inside of me out because you have it already. So, but you have to learn, you have to learn that you have to control yourself, that you have to trust him more. Because until you learn to control yourself and put everything in the hands of the Lord and trust Him, you're not going to change. Nothing is going to change in your life. You're going to live sick and you're going to be anxious. You have to stop being anxious all the time because that's why you are sick all the time, right? The person who wrote to me asking for this message told me that she's always sick, always has something due to, like, the same problems around she said yes because 
I know it's not like I said before at the beginning, it's not that we're gonna be irresponsible, no. That we're gonna ignore what's going on, no. But we're gonna do our part and do the, and let the Lord, allow the Lord to do his part. What do we have to do? We just have to be calm, learn to cast everything on him, learn to say, Lord, this is the time that I need you more than ever. Please, be you will done, but help me to fix this problem. I can't do it without you, help me. And just, listen, relax, relax. Learn to sleep at night time because I get people sick also. When people don't sleep well, they get sick because that's something that you need. Your hours sleep, that's something that you can that you can just avoid. No, you have to sleep. And then that's the problem. People not even sleeping because of the stress and the anxious they are and so stressed out, they don't sleep. You have to learn to cast it on the Lord and say, Lord, I put it in your hands, please do it. And I wait for you and my faith tells me that you'll do it. I know that I know that I know that you'll do it. So that's it. And the Lord will do it for you. And I finish with this though, my brothers and sisters, just trust the Lord and everything in your life with the myth of everything going around, trust the Lord. Use that faith that he tells you so much. He tells you all the time in the Bible about the faith. Just read it, but you say, read it and you say, don't lose it because that's what we need. The faith is not only say, oh, I'm a, I'm a Christian and I have faith. Yes, I know the Lord, I have faith. And then later you can even sleep because of all your problems. No, use your faith. Put everything on the Lord, cast it on the Lord and wait on Him. Because anyway, He's the only way who will have the last word. Everything is gonna be done the time that he's desired and the way that he desired and the moment he desired so just take it easy wait on the Lord for everything start sleeping well don't be anxious for anything every time you feel that you're gonna start being anxious just start praying praying get the Bible and start reading verses and talk about it and just pray and pray to the Lord and let him work for you. And may the Lord bless you and keep you and send his angel to be with you at all moment. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. Don't be bored anymore. Just go to my radio station, Super Spiritual. Go to the App Store and just click and look for super spiritual and it's gonna come up and enjoy the music it's english and spanish all day 24 7 super spiritual i'm pastor nancy cuneo if you like this video please give it a like and subscribe to my channel